Hello, thank you for watching My Little Life. Today, I'm going to cook okonomiyaki. It's Japanese savory pancake, known as a local specialty of West Japan, and they're also famous as a street food. But also, we got a restaurant where you can cook by yourself, with special equipment on your own tables. It is one of the most easiest Japanese dish to cook, and you don't need special ingredients, but still look really authentic. Today, I'm gonna cook my version as a London style. Let's get started. Main ingredients are flour, egg, water, same as usual pancake. Also, I add dashi powder when I have. Dashi means broth. Basically, it's non oil soup stock made from either fish or seaweed to give extra deep umami taste. If you are interested in, please check my other video about dashi. The link is on the below. And one other ingredient you can't miss is finely chopped cabbage. Okonomi means as you like. So other topping could be literally anything. Today, I'm gonna use broccoli, corn, and cheese. Also spring onion, which is almost every time you see in okonomiyaki anyway. Another thing I recommend is either pork or fish or mix together like this. Also, we have something like this. Put noodles into pancake and make a carbohydrate monster. You can find this in some restaurant in London. Also, red pickled ginger will be a nice accent. If you are already familiar with these, please try. Sauce is a very important part. I'll introduce it after we cook pancake first. Firstly, prepare 100 gram flour, either cake flour or plain flour, then sift. This will help to create the perfect mixture of okonomiyaki. Then add dashi powder if you have, and one egg. Then add half a glass of water first, after little by little, to find out the perfect thickness of the mixture. To me, this is the light thickness. When you drop it, it will make a continuous line, similar to French pancakes or crepes, but perhaps slightly thicker. Then finely chopped cabbage. You can use grinder or buy the one it's already made it for you. Now you add cabbage into the mixture. As you see, we put quite a lot. Now mixture is ready. Before you start frying the pancake, defrost all the ingredients and chop off into pieces. Now let's start frying the pancake. Put a little oil in the pan, then heat it up, and then wipe oil by kitchen towel as much as you can so that we got very little thin oil left. This is how restaurant does. Then you put onto the wet cross like this. This makes pan's temperature right. Then with middle heat, Add mixture with ladle, make a round shape like this. Remember, keep some mixture for later use. Then add some toppings. Fry 2-3 to three minutes till bottom is getting ready to turn over. 
When edge of pancake is getting different color, which means almost ready to turn. Now you add leftover. This is to avoid all the topping stick on the pan. Now you flip over pancake and push and flatten a little bit. This is the way how we do in Japan. Then you put the lid on it to make pancake nice and fluffy. Fry around 5 minutes, turn over several times till the pancake get nice color on it. Usually, I pork with skewer if watery mixture doesn't come out, which means it's ready to eat. That's it. For serving, I recommend this. Nation loved funny face, otafuku sauce. I really think people love okonomiyaki because of taste of the sauce. So it's worth to try the authentic product. Or you can just use barbecue sauce, brown sauce, to make it more Japanese. Add a bit of soya sauce or oyster sauce or ketchup if you like. Find the taste and balance you like. Now it's time for mayo and I'm gonna show you mayo art. Everyone can do so easily. Draw a zigzag line horizontally on the pancake by mayo. Then you skew and draw the line vertically like this. Finally, you sprinkle on the Aonori seaweed powder. It's not mandatory, but it gives nice color, also slightest bitter flavor on it. Bonito flake is another must in Japan, but I think we can skip it. Thank you very much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a question about this video or Japanese food, please comment on below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel. Also, enjoy other videos. See you next time and have a good day.